Greetings everyone. Now, in today's video, we'll be covering the book Mother to Mother. Now, there's way too many characters in the book for me to cover in one video. So I'll be doing this. I'll be covering each character every day. Now, today's character is Mandisa. Now, we know that Mandisa is one of the main characters in the book. But then we have to go into depth as to who Mandisa is. Well, Mandisa is the, is the novel's narrator. She tells the story of what's happening in the whole book. Mandisa is also refer, referred to as Molokwazana by her husband's China, by her husband China's family. Mandisa is an early mid, is, a, is the early middle aged mother of three. We know the three is, to be Golisi, Lunga, and the youngest to be Siziwi. Now, um, Mandisa was a respectful, hardworking child and talented student whose life was first disrupted by her family's fourth uh, relocation to Guguletu. Now, the, remember, they were forced to re relocate to Guguletu from Blofle because they received an aeroplane that um, threw some posters stating that uh, by the end of the month, for instance, they'll be, they'll be forced to relocate. Now, secondly, um, she was surprised by the pregnancy that she received. Mandisa and, the, and her then boyfriend, China, had pro uh, purposely avoided to have penetrative sex. But then she conceived anyway. Now, they avoided having sex at all times, which means that they never really had sex. But then Mandisa still managed, managed to get pregnant. Um, now, and Mandisa's, Mandisa had her first son, Nkolisi, who is also one of the main characters in the book, that we, because we find out that Nkolisi was responsible for the murder of the girl. And when I reference the girl, I mean Amy Elizabeth Beale. Now, out of duty, Mandisa marries, marries China, and these two, China and Mandisa, are unhappily married for a whole two years. Imagine marrying someone that you know very much well that you don't love them, nor like them enough to marry, but then out of duty, you have to commit to it due to uh, um, past family uh, um, traditions. Mind you, this book was written in the apartheid regime, it references to the apartheid regime as you go, as I'll be reading further, you'll understand that they were forced to relocate from Blofe, Blofle to Guguletu by the white government. Then that's how you understand that it's, it, it's from the apartheid regime. However, one day China leaves for work because of, let's, let's let me recap you. Mandisa was nagging. Um, China to find a job so that they can they can actually have food on the table so that he can provide for the family as he is the father of Ngolisi. Now China leaves for work one day and never comes back leaving Mandisa to fend for herself. As she manages to piece herself back together and start afresh Mandisa comes to terms that she actually resents Ngolisi for disrupting her life. Remember, I had stated that Mandisa was also a respectful, hardworking child and talented student whose life was full of opportunities. She was one of the brightest students in her class. Now, falling pregnant managed to like disrupt her education. She had, she was forced to drop out of school. Now, Mandisa, conce Mandisa conceives her second born. Um, Lunga, with a man called Lungile, who, like China, also leaves her. But she eventually marries the, the perfect person. She marries a man called Dwadwa. Now, Dwadwa uh, is the father of her youngest child and her only daughter, Siziwi. Out of all her children, Mkolisi becomes her biggest troublemaker and most politically charged when he gets into the mo into hot water for stabbing and murdering the girl, Amy Beale. Now again, reference 
the girl ref- when I'm referencing the girl my um the girl I mean Amy Bill now the metaphor in the in the words um hot water it means that he got into way too much trouble for, with the police with the police that he was arrested but then later in the book you'll realize that actually actually Mkolisi turned himself in due to guilt uh, Mandisa feels great guilt regarding Mkolisi's life and crimes. Remember, a mother may resent how me, uh, you for a long time, but they are still responsible and they still love you either way. Now, she feels responsible for his murder of Amy Bill and by the people in her community. Remember, Mkolisi is not the only person who killed um, um, Amy Bill. And if the community was so responsible like they claim to be, they would have stopped Nkolisi from murdering the girl. Now, in the next video, we'll be covering Nkolisi's side of the story, Nkolisi's characterizations. And then after that video, we'll be covering, uh, covering Amy Bjorn. Thank you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for the next video.